Hi, this is Chris Lavin from Extreme Polishing Systems, and we are coming to you today from Pompano Beach in Extreme Polishing Systems' new office that we are under construction on right now. And uh, we are very happy and uh, privileged to have Rick Layton from uh, the beautiful city of Artesia, New Mexico, who contacted me earlier this week through a video like you guys are watching right now and had some questions about some prep machinery and equipment for doing epoxy after he had been to his Elite Creek seminar. And um, I said, you really need to get on a plane and fly on down to beautiful South Florida and come and uh, get a hands-on training. So that's what you did. So, so Rick is here. So Rick, I got some questions for you, right? You are been in the, what type of industry have you been into so far? We do water damage and flood restoration. Okay, water damage. Residential and commercial. All right, and what made you get like directed towards that YouTube uh, video that, that you went to? I was looking for something to replace floors that we tear out of homes and businesses after they flood uh, that was different and flood proof that I could say this is flood proof, you won't have a problem anymore if something breaks. And this fits the bill. So what type of uh, what type of like materials are you removing from the commercial spaces? We remove uh, laminate, uh, floating floors, carpet. Uh, there's nothing that can take water. Even the ceramic tiles, they get water underneath them uh, through the boom channels. Uh, so anything that's flooded with dirty water, black water, uh, the flooring materials have to come out. Okay. So with this, it can be cleaned. With this meaning polished concrete. Polished concrete, yeah. Right. So you looked at polished concrete, you looked at coatings, uh, you've been here for three days. What would you say to somebody that's out there in YouTube land that's sitting there watching this video right now? What your overall experience was in the in the three days that you've been here? Well, it's confirmed everything that I saw on your uh, YouTube videos and what I've read about it, and that uh, it's durable. It's going to last longer than you probably own your home, and. Um, it's easy maintenance, easy to clean, and uh, the values there, the price is comparable to good quality flooring. So I, I recommend that we're gonna start uh, selling it in New Mexico. Yeah, so we're, 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 we're glad to have you as part of the team. Um, today, we're here, we're gonna be here with Dr. Jimmy, uh, Mr. Razor, the usual suspects are at hand, and we're gonna be doing some, uh, some application of some logos. We have Extreme Polishing System logos, and then we have the Ingavi Trust logo on the top. Um, and this here, by the way, this concrete that we're gonna be polishing was some really nasty concrete that had VCT on it for 19 years that just was brittle and just crumbled off the floor when we took our scraper to it. Um, and we got a really nice substrate now that's got exposed aggregate. Uh, we're using Schofield colors today. Is that accurate? We're using uh, Aztec Gold and we're also using uh, Midnight Black. From a mirror polish. So we're mixing the two different manufacturers' products here, uh, two colors that we happen to like a lot, and we're gonna have some fun today. So come on for the ride. Right now, what we're doing is we have Dr. Jimmy, the master of the logo, is uh doing his layout here on the floor, making sure everything is centered properly. And the In God and We Trust is going to be one color. So you'll see how easy this is to apply. Right now what Jimmy's doing is he's uh, taking a tack cloth and he's basically getting any type of loose debris or dirt that may be contaminating the surface of the concrete. You got it. So yeah. we can make sure that we have a real nice clean surface. Yeah. We just put it back to uh, the original place. We're gonna put tape across halfway across this. This will keep the, the whole uh, Vinyl piece attached to the ground here, and then we're going to peel back half of it at a time. Oh, let's do half.
putting some water on these, bringing it nice and moist so they peel back easy. Don't hurt the vinyl at all. Be careful when we run the letters, okay? See how the letters? Yeah. Just go slowly. spray over on to a regular natural finish is, is definitely going to show up okay you, you definitely don't want this you want to definitely protect your surfaces from any overspray you can overspray anywhere from three to five feet so be careful when you're doing this you take all the time and effort pay all the money for the vinyl you want to make sure it's done perfect Dr. Jimmy has a uh, one of the standard little uh, sample bottles of Ameripolish Midnight Black and we've got a pre ball sprayer that you can get at your uh, local paint store uh, or Home Depot um, which is basically like a little aerosol can and this bottle will produce about 25 square feet of color which is about we probably have maybe about half that here and all you do is just make sure you spray it and have your little rag there because it, it will run out of the bottom. And make sure you definitely have everything covered for overspray. All these dyes are available online. You can buy the Schofield dyes, you can buy Ameripolish, you can buy Extreme's brand of uh, acetone based dye. This is an acetone based dye that we're using, which is always best to use. As a water based, we'll, uh, we'll go underneath the vinyl. Do not use a water based dye, then you're gonna have some problems with it. You won't get the crisp, clean lines that you're looking for. If, if some of your overspray, uh, does not go where it's supposed to go and it goes on to the concrete. Uh, basically take straight acetone in a rag and wash it off immediately. Um, or you can take a 10 part water to one part bleach and you can use that also. Uh, taking the uh, cloth and just taking off a lot of the residue that's on the top surface and we're going to do another spray to make it sure it's a real good dark black. Just be careful. 
careful not to pull. The edges up. Make sure you just pull off all the vinyl. And you're yeah. going to be left with your color. Coming up. On the second map, and Rick here, you can line this so up exactly. With the uh, no, sir. the legends on the other end, that are on the concrete. second color which is going to be um, the gold color the wonderful gold it's called Aztec gold all these colors you can purchase online Inca gold thank you Jimmy Inca gold and this is a uh, Schofield product so we're gonna spray the Inca gold we've gone we've taped off everything we've, we've made all necessary um, requirements that, that you need to do before you start to put color make sure you have all these cardboards and you really cover yourself for overspray. All right, Jimmy, let it rip. Now we're definitely gonna apply two coats of this product because it is a very light color. Just like we do with the black. A lot of people always ask, like, what, when should I put the color down? If you're going to bring it up to a high shine, you're going to put your color down here at 400. You can apply these stencils at 800. Um, if you're going to bring it just to a matte finish, you're going to apply them at 200. And you're going to put densifier over this to lock the color into the floor. You're going to wash the floor then after you've done that, and then you're going to continue out your 800 resin pads. Final result. Uh, obviously, now we're going to densify the floor. We're going to come back and we're going to polish this up to a high shine. So, we'll show you the final result of the uh, entranceway to the new Extreme Polishing Systems uh, address here at 2200 Northwest 32nd Street. Anyways, as always, shop with confidence. Go to our website at extremepolishingsystems.com. You can buy all your colors. If you have any particular uh, logo that you need uh, made for you, uh, contact us and we'll be more than happy to put it together for you and give you a good price on it. Anyways, thanks again for uh, watching us here on uh, Extreme Polishing Systems channel and we look forward to uh, seeing you down here in the near future. And by the way, that man right there, we want to thank him for coming down from New Mexico and helping us out. Thanks a lot, Rick. You're welcome. I enjoy it. All right. And, and once again, it was great meeting you, okay? Thank you. All right, thanks.